All right, this is a video showing you how to tear down the Dell Inspiron E1505. Okay, um, here is the back side. And you're going to take out all of these screws that I mark, such as these here. I'll mark them after the video is done so that you'll know all of the, the screw holes. But pretty much any screw that you can see on the back side here, you're going to um, take out. With that, you're also going to pop out the battery. And if you're looking to get to the RAM, you're going to want to take apart this, um, this part as well. And that's just a regular Phillips head. You could probably a smaller Phillips head would work better. But you just disconnect it like this. And that's what it looks like. You don't have any screws in here really to worry about. So if you're just taking this apart for, you know, because you're having a video issue or you want to um, check your. Um, Wi-Fi card you, you don't need to worry about taking this off but I took it off just to show you the RAM if you're looking to just replace the RAM the RAM just pops out like this that's that's it they just come out like that they go back in same way and just push down be careful and uh, that's pretty much it so let me pause the video I'll take this apart and I'll show you the next step Now, if you're looking to just change your hard drive, you have to take this bolt, this this screw, and this screw. These three screws, and this baby just pops out just like this. That's your hard drive. If you're going to replace your hard drive, you got a couple of screws on each side. Just look for the screws here, because this is just a case here. And then this will pop right off. But that's what you have to do to get the hard drive out. Okay, once you pull all the screws out, you're gonna have to take out two more screws on the side. This one here, and this one on the other side. Once you're done taking those screws out, flip it back over and lay the screen flat down, like you see here. And then over here, there's a little, little indent here, a little lip. Get a small screwdriver or something like what I have here and just pop it up. You don't have to worry about uh, any um, any cords. There's nothing connected to this. So just pop it up slowly. Take your time so you don't break it. Sometimes they come out easy. Sometimes they're a pain right in the guns. But just um, get crazy just take your time and and uh, pull up lightly so that way get something underneath here and just go across easily and just be careful there you go and it should pop off just like that you know just don't want to flex this break that you don't want to do any major scraping because you don't want to break anything off here but just get something level and go across like this that's all you have to do <clears throat> and let it pop out naturally and that's what it looks like and set that aside where you know it's at where it's at and then then you just have to take these two screws there's a screw here and a screw here to disassemble the lap the uh, keyboard normally I have a uh, something that uh, I lay out that I can keep all these screws separated <clears throat> exactly where they belong. But I've had this type of laptop part before, so it's um, kind of redundant for me. And then you just pop it up. Don't worry about it. Now you got wires under here, so just be careful and move it forward just a little bit and see what's underneath there. You're going to have to undo this one here, but let's get this this undone first. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to get your either your fingertip or whatever. You, there you go. See, sometimes you use something like this, and you can just lightly, lightly, and you'll see. Let me see if I can zoom in a little. It's kind of a. Um, I don't know if it's or not, but it's a. Uh, I'm going to remove the keyboard so you can see what it looks like. And see, it's just a just a flap. Just pull it up. That's it. And the same thing goes for this one. You need to take that apart. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to pop this little thing up here if we can. There we go. And then once it's up, you can just pull this cable right out. See? Just easily pop it up. It's just a lift. Lifts up. And then over here, we're going to, um, for the first thing we're going to do is unplug this. There's a little cable here. You can get a flat head screw screwdriver in here or something flat anything and just try to help yourself pull this out or you can just pull it out with just be careful you don't break the wire that's all take your time it's just a little little wire and then over here we're going to wiggle this around and see if we can just pop this off see how this just came off i'm going to do the same thing to the other one um, well, I just figured out why, um, the, this particular laptop here came to me because they weren't getting internet connection and the black cable was disconnected. So, uh, I already solved the internet connection with this here pretty much. So, I'm assuming if I connect that back together, that will end up working. This is your Wi-Fi card if anybody's wondering. So... CMOS battery here, so if you want to ever reset your CMOS, that's the battery that would pop out. But other than that, we're, there's another screw right here that you're going to look to take out. And we only get two more screws, believe it or not, folks, and then this thing is pretty much ready to come apart. Now you're going to take and there's this little tab lip, little thing hanging up. Just pull it. There you go. That's uh, disconnected. You're going to probably want to bring that up. And then this, you're going to want to disconnect too as well. So notice that these, notice these are running through here. You know, keep an eye on that. They don't, they don't go through the hole. They run through here in this little groove here. So that's how they they go back in. So just kind of remember that. And if you forget, you can always come back to the video and watch it. It's a nice thing. You should always videotape yourself doing it anyway, so we don't forget. Now, the next thing is to take these, this one and this one apart. And then this should be able to come right out and that's it that's, um, that's all there is to it if you're looking to take your screen apart now if you're looking to um, take this whole thing apart you're going to have to um, there might be check underneath these there may be screws underneath all these and then if there are remove the screws and then just carefully pull the bezel up. You just go all the way around with something carefully and pull this out. And then your LCD screen. And it should all become a pretty, fairly apparent after that. That's why I don't take them apart. Because they're actually a lot, much more simple than you think. Now, if we got everything, and we didn't miss everything, or miss anything, I should say, and some some of you people are might be taking a different laptop apart. Um, just make sure you don't have. Sometimes, um, I mean, technically, if you can get a hold of the uh, the 
the, the, the drive here, your DVD drive, if you can get that out, that's fine. That, ideally, that would be nice if we could. Sometimes what I do is I take a small screwdriver and I just put it in the lip here and carefully, carefully pry it. Don't pry on it really hard. Just pry on it enough so it comes out. And that's your, you're changing your, uh, your DVD drive. That's technically you would have only had to have removed probably this screw here. And then you could have done what we just did and pried that out. So the next thing to do is see if we can get this uh, see if we can get this baby off. Sometimes they pop off easy. Sometimes they're a pain in the gluteus. But we'll see. If this doesn't come right off for you, just double check. Make sure you didn't miss any, you didn't miss any screws, okay? Because if it doesn't come off fairly easy, I'm just taking my time. So if it doesn't come off fairly easy, then you may have missed something. So go back, look, and see what you may have missed. And uh, Like I'm doing right now because this one part's not popping off easily so I'm uh, I'm double checking to make sure that and sometimes you can put something in here and just slide it across and it'll pop but something tells me this isn't popping so I may have missed something and I did right here see down here there's a screw in here so you're gonna want to take that off Then. It's kind of dark in here, so I kind of miss that screw, and that should be it. So it should come off really easy. So I'm gonna put a note on that to make sure that you guys don't tear this thing apart. And that's why I tell you to be really easy when you're starting to take things apart because it should pop off fairly easy. So once it comes apart, you can set it aside, and <clears throat> that's your inside. You know, so if you're replacing a fan, you know this. And the scary thing is here is that uh, this particular computer here does not um, have the uh, the graphics card that I was looking for, so um, it's not going to help me diagnose my other computer issue. So I'm going to have to do that one, go that one alone, I guess. But that's pretty much um, how you take it apart. Um, if you wanted to take this off, you would have to get some, I believe they're probably, oh, they're, they're regular, they're regular head screwdrivers. But this is your processor under here, and this is probably a graphics, graphics, internal graphics. So, um, the other card that I, the other computer I have has the removable graphics. So um, it plugs in here. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to take the rest of it apart, you would just basically disconnect um, disconnect here. You know, all these little screws that have to come out. That screw there. If you're replacing the motherboard. This whole thing, when you disconnect this, this will all come out one piece. All all of this. So um, if you want to take this this whole thing will come out. If you want to take the fan out, you just take take these screws out here, and then you unplug it here. So you would take this screw and this screw out, and that would be that would be pretty much it. But, okay, well, hopefully this video helps someone, and please subscribe and like.